Hi everyone, today we're revisiting uh, setting up Andicom to record your audio from your computer and also to record your microphone. So the settings are pretty straightforward in this update that when you open up Andicom you have this option here where you can just click on the audio, alright, on the microphone. So what it does, it gives you two options. It gives you the primary sound and it gives you the secondary sound device which is supposed to be your microphone so in the primary sound device you have to select your computer this is where you select your computer input okay so it shows a lot of devices that are hooked onto my computer here but I strongly suggest that for these fast primary device option please select the default sound okay default sound device your computer will automatically select your computer system and this is what has been messing up a lot of people because when you click on the settings you can see all the speakers that are hooked onto your computer and you don't have to bother with these ones okay your computer will automatically select what the device is for the primary input all right and you can go on to the secondary sound device and this is where you're supposed to include your microphone i highly suggest that you guys find a small usb microphone microphones are now easy to find you can find a microphone for only ten dollars on amazon and the one that i have hooked onto my computer is a digital usb clip-on microphone which i got for only about i think about fifteen dollars but you can see here secondary sound device is supposed to be the microphone and when you click on this drop down menu it shows you a whole lot of uh, microphones and other speakers that you have on your computer but i'm going to select the digital usb clip on microphone because it's a microphone that i want to use for my audio input and it's a microphone that i'm going to be talking in while i'm recording my gameplay or what I'm recording using Bandicam. So I select that and I put its volume on 100 because I want my voice to be taken in on 100%. And there is this option here where you have two sound mixing where you can click when, you, when it's checked the two sound uh, mixing. It means that your input through the microphone and your computer input are all going to be coming out in one audio track which I really like but you can also choose to uncheck it in order for you to have two different sounds to have the computer sound and to also have the microphone sound depending on how you edit and your post uh, recording editing uh, that you use after recording your screen or your gameplay uh, but I'm going to leave it checked so all my audio both for the computer and for my microphone come up in one audio track all right after that you click ok at this point i know some of you guys are wondering why we having uh roblox open i'm gonna show you guys how to record as a bonus how to record roblox so the three official recording modes up here for bandicam there is the screen and there is uh the gaming uh, the game recording mode and there is also the HDMI in case you connect anything to your computer like a camera or whatever it is but if you use this one for the game it does not record Roblox what you have to do is you have to use the screen recording screen capture and I highly suggest that you open Bandicam and then open Roblox and then go ahead and click on the screen capture and record your entire screen all right put in settings that allow you to record your entire screen uh, as it is on your computer you can see I selected mine here and what happens is you play Roblox but you put it in full screen mode so that way everything on your screen will be captured and that will include all your gameplay and let me show you guys 
when you put it in full screen mode you can see it's recording seamlessly and it's recording really really crisp clear so what happens you start playing your game as usual and you can see the capture is really really beautiful and also this applies to the uh, audio settings that we just set up so you'll be able to record your microphone and record the gameplay sound at the same time and you can see the recording is really seamless uh, everything is recording perfectly well and that's how you record Roblox using the screen capture bandicam without using the gaming mode uh, to record it so thank you so much guys for watching i hope to see you again in the next video bye bye for now